Hello, my name's Jan and I'd like to show you how to paint watercolour some of my favourite places in England and France. Today I'm going to be showing you long-head donkeys on the Ile de Ray. They're also known as donkeys in pyjamas as historically they went to work harvesting sea salt and had protective clothing which was old curtains. The first thing I'm going to do today is use some latex or masking fluid to put in the grass and wild flowers across their legs. As it's a large area, I'm going to wet the area where the sky is going to be first. Now there is some sky showing through their legs, but I'll deal with that later. I won't clean the palette. I'll leave some. We're using cobalt blue and Viridian. Working fairly quick, keeping the brush strokes going the same way as much as possible. Now it's a little bit lighter at the bottom so I'm just going to add a little bit of Naples yellow. I drew the donkeys in pencil so that I could show you what I was doing but I did it very very lightly and I'm now going to rub out some of it before I paint. I'm just going along its back. If you want to make the colour a bit cooler just add a little bit of blue to it, puddle it down so it's quite diluted and go along the back. The Going along the back gives a shape of the animal an indication that it is a donkey. So I've got gentle curve going all the way round and I'm going to take the curve round to the stomach. Now there isn't a straight line so what I'm just going to do is feather it. And get some water and just take that back into the middle of the body so there isn't a, a firm line. Now I'm moving up to the ears, which are very fluffy, they're like teddy bear ears. And I'm following the shape of the ear just very gently. And the ear goes in on itself from the head, so it's a little bit complicated. You've got to look closely and see what's happening. But I'm doing it in the direction the fur is going, which can be helpful. Now I'm going to do the fringe. It's quite normal when painting wildlife of any sort to do the eyes first because if you haven't got the eyes right you don't know what's going on. But in this case the eyes are very very dark and hidden under the fringe. The one in the middle is a different breed. Now the centre donkey has got a white nose and it's got brown tips to its ears. So what I'm going to do is do a darker grey. I'm mixing the grey out of Brazilian crimson, ultramarine blue and yellow ochre. And I'm going to go in quite hard because it's the nose that is the focal point. Just adding a little bit of yellow to it just to give it some tone. And there's a little bit of white round its eyes. Then it goes much lighter as it goes up towards its top of its head. So I wet the paint down a little bit, water it down. And then the ears are almost three colours. So we're going very gently. 
and I'm going to use some brown on top. The donkey also has got big knee joints and the legs are different colours because of uh, partly being in shadow from the donkey next to it. I'm just going to use a putty rubber and rub the legs back a little bit before I start painting. I'm now moving on to the donkeys on the right. Now, first of all, there's one lurking in the background here with a very dark ear. So I'm going to pop that in. It's difficult when they're fluffy to get the exact edge, but I'll just put an edge in for now. And then I'm going to go with the point of the brush and just feather it out a little bit so it looks more like a teddy bear. And I'll put the rest of it back in just so that I've got something. Now this one in the next one forward is much lighter. It's almost grey. So I think I will put some grey in. That hasn't quite worked. I need a little bit more blue to make it cooler to separate it from the one behind. You can instantly see there's two animals now. Taking it back up. Um, it's also got a very dark ear. And again, I'll go round and just feather it out a little bit. That's why I did the sky first, so I don't have to go back to that area. And it's got a very dark top of its head in between its very large eyebrows. I'm going all the way down. A little bit dark on the other ear, but not so much. So now I'm going into the lighter colour. And I'm just going to drop that in so it'll find its own edge. And the same on the other side. And its face is quite light. 
just go round. leaving the white of the face and just going gently on. If you go gently, you can go again. And when it comes round to the front, it's more rusty coloured again. I don't know whether that's a fur or whether it's a play on light. Whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go back to the other donkey, which is a different breed. And they had a lovely mane. And the mane looks nice and dark because the fur around it is nearly white. So I'm going to put some grey on very thinly as a base coat and then I can return to that also seems to have got quite a white tummy so I'll put a line there work my way up and it's got very knobbly legs Knobbly Knees competition. Which is the way the joints go. And where it's lighter, I'm just using the water. No pigment at all. Just carrying on with the legs. But they're not all one colour, there's shadow and there seems to be, it could be dirty bits, who can tell. Just use plain water just to let the pigment spread out itself. A little bit of shadow around the tummy there at the front. And then we've got one leg in bright sunshine that's quite bright and I did put latex here for the flowers so some of the leg is disappearing and we've got gentle shadow down one side of the face which I'm going in quite lightly with I might do it twice rather than get it wrong I'm now going to leave that to dry and move on to the first one again, which I can get some more paint on. Gently move it on so there's not a hard line. And proceed to, I think, the legs, which are very, very dark. See the latex is showing there where the flowers will be. And then there's a slight gap and the other leg. It's not much of a gap because they're so furry. And the third leg. The latex is showing quite well now. And then the fourth leg is in sunshine, so I'm going to do it a slightly different colour. I'm 
I'm just dropping some blue on the brown fur just to lighten it so it's catching the sun. And I'm going to go in for the back now, which again is a very light brown. So blue and some mid brown, dark brown. Just gently mix it all around, make it very watery. And then I'm putting it on the way the fur is going, which is going out from a central point. Not filling every space, just leaving a few gaps because it is very distinct fur. I'm using a number eight brush um, to do this painting. It is a synthetic one, but it's nice and springy with a good point. And this is a shadow here, but I'm just going to go over it. I know where it is now. And a very gingery bit under her tummy. And on her leg. Get all those to merge together. And then very dark here, which is in the shadow of her face. let that dry and I can put another coat on but it is looking more like fur so her face can be done while this is going on she's very dark in the middle which will give better definition to the white nose as the donkey gets darker, you can see that the flowers I put in in latex are showing more. Uh, when the paint is completely dry on the legs, I'll rub the latex off with my finger. It's difficult for you to see the colours I'm using from the pan, so I found some tubes here with the names written on. I'm going to paint the grass now by the animal's legs, let that dry and... Because I'm showing yellow flowers, I don't want the grass to be too yellowy green. I want it to be more of a, a grey blue green. So I'll show you now. I've mixed up sap green, ultramarine, a little bit of turquoise. And I'm just going to put it on in little bits. Use some water so it's not all the same. It's got a little bit of my favourite Naples yellow just to send it off. Keep changing it. Don't do the whole thing in one lot. Keep changing the water levels and changing the colour match. And it'll look far more natural. You can go back again. You don't have to do it all at once. It is rough pasture. It's not a mown lawn with stripes. There's quite a lot of grey in there, which is, I think, soil showing through. They've eaten it all. With variations, it's looking more like a mottled field than a cut lawn. If there's any white bits showing, I'll just add some water. I'm not adding too much water because this is 
um, not rag paper, it's made of pulp that won't absorb so much. I've just got the brush, just pulling the paint out so there's not a hard edge. And the latex will show around the animal's legs. I'm going to start, now it's dried a little bit, with the back donkey. It's got quite rich colour and it makes the one in front look. Just make sure there's no hard edges because they are very teddy bearish. It's instantly separating the two and a very, very dark ear. I'm not sure it's actually dark enough. I'm just going, tickling the edge. Letting it find its own line. I'm turning the brush round to do the tickle the other side. You can turn the paper upside down, do anything you need to, but to get the angles. And there's a little bit of shadow down there I can do. And then this is much paler. I'll just merge the two together. And the donkeys have got a little dip in the middle of their back. So it's instantly separated them and I need a slightly better shape to its bottom. Now that I've defined the donkeys a little bit more, I'm going to go back and put some more of the sky in that I wasn't sure where it went through their legs at the time. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Give more definition. So I've now put the blue in between their legs and gives me more chance to define the flowers. I'm starting from the right and I'm just going back over the grass again just to give a second coat just to highlight things. And I'm taking the brush for a dance. I'm not going all in one place. Just wiping it off and now I'm just using a fairly dry brush just to spread it around a little bit. Just working my way along gently. Changing colour, so it's never do too many brush strokes of the same colour. Keep moving along and altering it. Make it look more natural. Flick it up with a brush to show bits of grass. To give variety and interest right on the end, I'm just going up so there's some long grasses, just gently, putting in some dark there, and that will find its own edge. There's one donkey here that's virtually hidden behind the flowers, a little bit showing. These other ones seem to be standing on a ridge. So I'm going to put a slight definition of the other one in. You can really hardly see it through the flowers. On its back. And it's much lighter than the legs in front. Still got its white nose showing. So the legs in front are very dark, but it's not a black brown, it's more of a, a rich brown.
lots of shadow and a tiny dark bit of fur sticking through the grass at the bottom and then the rest is lighter so I'm going to add some blue just to make it more of a grey brown it's the sunlight reflecting off it that makes it look different and then it's very hairy so I'm just going to take the brush out give an indication of that and even darker underneath the other leg because of the shadow that needs feathering out as well to show it's furry and then a very dark tummy The tummy's not flat, it goes all the way around. It must be the different lengths in the hair. And all the way around to the other leg that's very dark. Up a little bit and then there's some older fur that seems to have tangled itself. Almost a little bit like dreadlocks. trying to do the brush strokes the way that the fur's growing because that will help when we get to the end. The fur in the middle that's catching the sunlight looks in quite a different colour. It all helps to make it look shaggy if you've got different colours. And then the fur changes direction along the back which again all helps to give the shape of the animal. You could probably use this method with long-haired highland cattle. Provided they were behind a good fence. <laughs> Going in with the lighter coloured fur along the top. There's quite chestnutty coloured fur on the side of the nose. And then in the middle of the nose is the bone that seems to be less covered. And the ears are incredibly dark in the middle, but not on the edges. So I need to mix up some more paint and go in very gently. I'm going in with the dark paint. I'm doing this while the face is drying because I don't want to smudge that dark bit on top of the head. And then round the other ear not quite as dark, it's just where it's catching the sunshine. Then some very, very pale bits, which I'm going to try Naples yellow, but I may have to go back to yellow ochre. It might stand out better. Don't always know till you try. So yeah, the yellow ochre is better. Just gives a bigger contrast. Whilst my shaggy donkey on the left is drying, I'm moving back to the grey donkey 
and I'm going to put some more darks on it starting with the area around its tail. I've just mixed up a darker grey using crimson and Davies grey and a little bit of blue, ultramarine blue. I'm just trying to de define it a bit but it's uh, it's quite a challenge to get it dark enough. Just a little bit round the outside, just to give a silhouette of a leg. And this one's not so hairy, so it's more of a smooth line, apart from round the joints and under the tummy. Put the paint in more heavily. It's got a very full tummy, so it's narrower point there. And then down to the foot, it's very dark. And then there's almost a silhouette around the leg and more knobbly bits around the joint. And then it's much darker at the front. What you've got to do is to look, not rush in. To make that paler in the middle, I'm just using water. And again, with the leg I've just did, I'll just put a little bit of water there so it smooths it off. I'm now moving to the front leg, which is, I don't know whether it's dirty or whether it's just the fur. There's a dark area. And then again, a hint of fur going down the outside. In a very very dark area under its tummy which is shadow and then another leg in broad daylight with an indication of a hoof it's the only bit that's not in long grass I'm just using water to let that one out gently Now, the fur is in shadow by the back of the shoulder joint. And then it's just all going the same way round it slightly. It shows the shape of the animal. And then there's very dark brown again on the shoulder. And on the other side, one shadow behind the ear that isn't brown, it's more shadow colour. And a very distinctive mane, which we can go over again. She's got a little bit of chestnutty colour in it. Amazing what colours you find on something that initially just look grey. I'm just adding the eyes now in Payne's grey mixed with blue. And the other one to match. And it's the way it's positioned at looking at us. The eyelids are down. And then a very dark nostril. On this eye, it's more defined than the other one, just with the angle the head is. I'm going to leave that to dry. While I'm waiting, I'm going to do the inside of the ear. And this ear was very dark. And this one's got quite a dark area and a dark middle. Now, I'm not going to go anywhere near that till it's dry because it'll spoil it. I'm now returning to this one. If I keep working on them all differently, it gives the paint a chance to dry. This one's got a very dark ear. 
and very dark under here then the rest of it's almost looking sun bleached so I'm going to go in very gently and choose my shades I'm putting the the very dark area under here which probably might not be dark enough but we've got to start somewhere and there's some very very long shraggly bits coming off of that which I'll try and put in And not just put them on the edge, leave them back in. And then there's a nice glowing front leg. And then it goes round here. That's still similar colour. Quite light on the side of its face. Coming together gently. I'm going to do the back next, which is very difficult to know exactly what shade to do, but I'm going to go in with some Naples yellow and Davies grey and then if necessary tint it and I'm going in with big strokes because it is big areas of fur so I'm just going in very gently which goes all the way down to the back leg as well around its tummy I'm not doing too many strokes of same colour, so I'm just changing the brush, picking up some different paint. And I want some warm colour. But where it hasn't quite matted so much. Just dropping it in. And it's a similar warm colour to this front leg and round the side of the face. Now the back is quite difficult. I'm going to go straight in just with grey, I think. And the same on this front leg. Got a little bit too much there. You can always pick it up with a brush and take it away if you've got too much. Now I'm going to use some yellow ochre and go next to the grey and it's probably just going to highlight it and give a more natural line. And those colours will naturally separate. There's a big area of shadow which I'm going to pop in. And under its ear and then darken the shadow under its chin to match and there's another one by its under its tummy I don't want those to look solid I want to feather them out a little bit go around put some paint down and go back with a watery brush by doing one the other one looks lighter I've now finished the donkeys by putting more detail on the fur adding the flowers and a little bit of shading around the eyes and the face the reason it looks like a donkey 
is it's got leaf shaped nostrils a, a white nose and you've got to remember that it's got very dark lips and mouth 